One of the coolest aspects of working with Bazel is you don't need to build your app on the same machine. You can configure Bazel to do all of its building on an entirely different machine or entirely different network. In fact, you can use an entire data center to do your builds. By being meticulous with your dependencies and organizing your targets in a smart fashion, your singular build can spread over multiple machines working in unison. Bazel also allows us to perform remote caching. Remember, when we declare a build, we have inputs and outputs. We can configure a server to store the outputs of builds. This means if nothing has changed from a build target, Bazel can be configured to use that output. This can drastically increase the speeds of your builds. Being open source, there are lots of ways to configure this, from setting up your own server caching network to even using Google's cloud storage. For more information, see Bazel's article on remote caching. In this demo, we're going to be using a service called BuildBuddy. We'll use it to configure our joke generator to perform remote building. We'll use the joke generator since it's an easy project so we can focus on the actual remote build. To get started, open up a browser and head on over to buildbuddy.io. BuildBuddy allows a free account with limited build options. For example, this is only allowed for three users for open source or personal projects. Create a new account with BuildBuddy. Once you are up and running, we need to update our workspace. We need to add some specific BuildBuddy rules. Head over to the following. Scroll down to the BuildBuddy toolchain, copy the code, then paste it into your workspace. Okay, so we added some rules, but we also need to update our Bazel RC file. Head back to BuildBuddy and click their setup link. Next, we'll add the following configuration flags per the documentation. Now back in the command line, we'll kick off the build. After some time, the build is compiled over at BuildBuddy, and now we get our knock-knock joke. And of course, heading over to BuildBuddy, we can see the breakdown of the entire build process. And of course, if we ever need the binary produced by the build, we can download it from the artifacts section.
As you can see, this is quite a powerful tool.